first time experience. <laughs> <laughs> I am so, so excited to reveal this video. This video has been around seven months in the filming and documenting. I've had my amazing friend Kyle Galvin working with me on this video because he wanted to create something really, really special. A full documentary of the creation of a beautiful couture wedding dress. For anyone who hasn't seen my face before, I'll just give you a really quick intro. So my name is Victoria McGrath, I'm a fashion blogger, a beauty blogger, a lifestyle blogger. I started blogging about seven years ago now. I am a L'Oreal ambassador, a Dior ambassador, an Armani beauty ambassador. I have written a book, The New Fashion Rules. I have a fashion doctorate, I've published papers on fashion. Um, fashion is my my life, I absolutely adore it and I have always wanted to be in fashion so to be a fashion blogger now is a bit of a dream come true for me. I started blogging about seven years ago but I started dating my other half Alex about ten years ago. We got engaged last year, August 2018 in Vancouver and it was the most beautiful engagement, it was a complete and utter surprise to me, I had no idea he had it planned. It was just by the, the lakeside in Vancouver. It was beautiful. I have pretty much been planning this wedding ever since. And we decided to get married in the south of France. I have always loved Provence and I really wanted lavender flowers for my wedding and I just thought what better place to get married. And around the time I started working with Mind magazine on a big photo shoot for their bridal issue and one of the dresses that was going to be in that shoot was a Philippa Lepley gown. So I went along to the Philippa Lepley boutique and I got to meet Philippa and I tried on some of her dresses. This is the first time ever that I had ever tried on a wedding dress. So it was actually such an amazing moment for me. I remember I got quite teary, quite emotional. Oh, look at the wind. I don't know how wide this was. Do you think it's on the lady? Do you want some tissues? Are you right? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to cry. Think of the makeup, think of the makeup. What are you so excited about? <laughs> Marrying him and the whole thing. Just wearing the dress. <laughs> <laughs> I'd literally never tried on a gown before, so it was a real moment for me. And in honesty, I feel it was that moment, trying on Philippa's dresses for the first time, that really gave me this affiliation and this feeling towards Philippa. And to be honest, I just fell in love with her, I fell in love with her gowns, and for me it was sold, it was a done deal. I needed a Philippa Lepley dress for my wedding. It was just a real emotional feeling. Um, all right? Yeah. Yes, yes. So after that day and after the photo shoot, I brought my mum back to Philippa's boutique and I tried on more dresses for my mum. I tried on maybe six, seven dresses, and there were two dresses that my mum was like, wow, this is unbelievable. And I too fell in love with them. Both completely different. One very embellished, one extremely classic. And the more classic dress is actually the type of dress I would always have imagined myself getting married in. Simple, sleek, chic, so kind of minimal but classic, beautiful bridal style. And I completely fell in love. And those were the two dresses that I couldn't take my mind off. I didn't really want to try on any other dresses. I had made up my mind that they were going to be my wedding day dresses. First fitting was actually in February. It was actually Valentine's Day, February 14th. And me and Carl went along to the boutique, super excited to start the whole process. And this was the measuring day. So it was a day that I had all of my measurements taken. And wow, there are a lot of measurements. Like literally every little piece of you is measured. Um, so Kitty is going to read out all the measurements and I just whiz around you with a tape measure. If you can just stand, relax your arms and shoulders as much as you can. Okay. Because 
The thing with Philippa Lepley is her gowns are completely couture. They are bespoke. They are made to fit you like an absolute glove. I've never seen precision like it and that is what makes Philippa's dresses stand out in the market. So I had every little bit of me measured so this dress would be the perfect fit. The <laughs> other thing that we will do um, is take some photos of you in our basic block corset. Okay. So this is not representative of the neckline of your dresses. Um, it's not representative of the measurements we've just taken. It's our kind of sample corset. Right. So, but having photos of you in this, that is all information that goes to our pattern cutter along with your measurements so that they have everything they need to make your toile, basically. Right. Right. Um, the toile is a mock-up of the dress done in rough fabrics so that we can make sure that the fit is really beautiful and make sure you're happy with all the style lines as well. So make sure you're happy with the height of the neckline, the width of your straps, all of those details. Right, wow. Gosh, that's incredible. So as we're lacing you in here, this is very similar as to what will happen at your first 12 fitting. So we start with just a mock-up of the corset like this, right. and we'll lace you into that with your bra on as you have here, so that we're creating, molding around that shape. So a few weeks later, I went along for my second fitting and this is the first toile fitting. Everything again was measured to precision. So everything is just pulled in, snipped, tucked, darts put in, everything. And I got to meet more of the team. Me and Kyle have spoken about it so often. They're just honestly the most wonderful team. They're so friendly, they make you feel, feel so welcome. They're all so skilled and creative. Um, I just felt so at home in this boutique. I just loved it so much. Hi, I'm Ethan. Hi. I'm your fitter. Uh, and I'm a pattern cutter as well, and I run production in the workroom. Okay, okay so I'll be doing your fitting today. I'll probably be doing your 12 fittings, and then I'll hand over to my colleague Lisa, and she will do the rest of your silk fittings. Perfect, okay. thank you. Okay. If I need to move your arms, if I need to get somewhere, let's sort of do that so I can get, because people tend to do that, it's too much. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I've, well, I've read the order, I'll fit the corset, I probably won't do the neckline, I'll then do the overlay. Okay. And then I'll do the neckline band last. Lower back neckline as much as we can, keeping a beautiful side view line, and that you love the framing aspect of the satin band, so the way that it stands away from the body. Yeah, that like 3D element. Air under it, yeah. Not too tight. No, no you've got to breathe. <laughs> but it's also got to hold you up. Yeah. So it's got to be tight enough to <laughs> do that job too. Yeah. Don't film that bit. <laughs> <laughs> you put corset on anyone, it pinches the skin to the back and you get a pinch down the Yeah, back. I bet. So yeah, just smooth it out, which I've done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. How long have you been doing this for? I've worked for Philippa for 21 years. Have you? <laughs> Yeah. 21 years? You're not even 21, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I wish I was still 21. <laughs> it's against your bodice there, but against your bra there, it's against your bra there. It's nice and in underneath there. Yeah. Got a nice shape going on there. Yeah, it's amazing. I'll do this side and then I'll turn you sideways so you can look at the shape from the side okay. and see that you're happy. Oh, it looks great in this. <laughs> okay, so no, you it looks, that looks amazing. Wow. So well, let's work our way down the body now. Including pockets in tulle skirt if possible, make sure back neckline is nice and low. Oh yes, the pockets. That would be amazing if we can. Do you think that's possible? In the, is it really? It's tulle and all. Can I put my hands in them? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, for sure. A bit more um, girl boss vibes in it. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I'll be a wife at that point when I wear this dress. Yeah, that's crazy. And on this day as well, we started to discuss my veil. So I decided that with my beautiful minimal wedding day ceremony dress that I wanted a veil. So at this point me and Philippa were discussing what exactly would go onto the veil and we decided my flowers would be the perfect option. Different ways. So, and I think I showed you this one in the fact that what's interesting about this one is that it's all all over this, and it's a bit everywhere all over. It's like a, a winding fur. Oh, yeah. beautiful. And so we can do any flowers. In the moment, I'm thinking hair a bit like this in a low yes. bun, a yes. little bit coming out, so it's very kind of whimsical and cute. Mm. And then tucking the veil under the bun, so it kind of comes out mm -hmm. down the back of the dress. Little hidden message on your veil. We can you do. You have a little bee from Manchester. Oh! I think you should do that. It'd be really nice. How did I not think of the bee? Amongst the like flowers, mm. you know, because like, like bees are attracted to flowers oh my gosh, as well. Oh that's a fantastic idea, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, a bee. 
<laughs> You're so right. Bee is my thing. Yeah. yeah. So a little bee. bee. A little bee somewhere would be so in cute. There. I mean, for a lot of people, maybe not, but for. A, for me especially, it's, it was kind of my dream to always have a veil. It just feels so bridal. It's something you will never ever wear unless you're getting married. So whilst at one point I was like, no, maybe I don't need a veil, I realised actually it was that one-off moment that I could wear this beautiful silk veil. So why would I not take up that opportunity? Again, a few weeks later, we went back for the second 12 fitting so for this one, the toile has now been adapted. It's been mocked up to be much more like what my dress would actually be like. Okay, so last time we did lots of pinning. We've taken all those alterations back to your pattern, adjusted your pattern, and then cut out a whole new toile. So this is that toile being put together. Right. So we'll fit that again. We'll redo that process, relook at everything, check we're happy with all the shapes, the proportions, and then we can Tweak your pattern, finalise your pattern, and cut out your dress. Yeah, a little look. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just need to see here. No, that's fine. It's not cutting into your leg. No, no, not that's at fine. all. That's no. So that's this is how long the course it'll be. Yeah. Right. Wow. So keep tummy flat. Not that you have a tummy. As I mentioned, I have two wedding dresses designed by Philippa, and both are very, very different. And that's what I love. I feel they both represent different sides of my personality. One is very kind of slick, traditional. I like the strap width, do you? I like, do you know what? I really quite like it. It's about Tagliatelle. Yeah, it is. It is Tagliatelle, isn't it? Quite nice and a bit of chuffle wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love truffle pasta. I mean, I mean, what do you think? I, I reckon we could maybe go. We could always make them thinner. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit thinner. I yeah, think. we can try them. I mean, this is just calico. You know, we can make them. We can do a couple of pairs. We can do ten pairs if we want. So, so has that gone higher then? No. So it's no. actually had it about there, didn't it? I had it right up. I had it. It, it slid up to sort of here. Because that is sort of in the middle. But I feel like it should be there. And then the other one is more party fun, a bit more exciting, a lot more going on. I feel that's very much, very much me. But they have different necklines. So on this fitting, I got to talk about the sweetheart neckline of the second dress. Neckline did a little bit taking you. And it's, uh, yeah, I like the shape of this it one. It looks amazing. Oh, I love the neckline on it. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> so this will all be entirely encrusted with pearls and diamantes. Amazing. Gems. I want it to be a little bit more flowing and more curvy than a point. I didn't want a V point, I wanted it a bit more curvy. So we talked about that in detail and the team fitted it and played around with the shape. But then on the exact same day, I also got to talk about my embellishment and embroidery on my second dress, my evening dress, which is a much more embellished, much more elaborate dress. So again, with Philippa's bespoke personalised touches, we wanted to put my Nancy's initials onto my dress. And we decided that on the very low back, which again, I personalised, I wanted this really low back just to, because I feel like on a woman, her back is so sexy when you see it in a dress. And again, it's quite demure, but it's very sexy and sensual. And I thought just the very bottom of that back, we could have v and a. Then a few weeks go by and the team are obviously working away super hard and we went back for my first silk fitting. So according to Philippa we have somewhat of a constructed dress to try for fit and shape um, and then we're also going to go and see some of the beadwork is being created and the veil, we're going to be able to see the artwork for the veil. So this is a really, really exciting day, actually. A lot of things are coming together now that kind of making all of the different points of the dress. So um, let's go try. So, so much happened on this day. We went back and my entire skeleton of the dress had been created. It's just amazing. It just feels like really surreal, really. It's all coming together. It's such a beautiful shape though, isn't it? Like the neckline. And then like you were saying, you were like, oh, I didn't realize there was lots of the net, but then obviously when the silk hits it, it will just give a little subtle shape out, rather than just being a drape. 
Right. Now, so it does look princessy, but not too much. <laughs> So my actual corset had been created, we had the skeleton of the skirt, and we decided that for the second dress we want even more tulle, so it would be really, really volumised and really like princessy. So for my particular dress, part of the reason I fell in love with it was because of the fabric, which is this beautiful ivory silk crepe. It's so soft and the way it drapes off of the body, it just made me swoon as soon as I saw it. It's Stunning. So to actually start to see your dress come together is such an amazing moment. The shape is amazing, shape. isn't it? I love that I don't have to pick it up to walk in it. That's so nice. I really hate having to pick up dresses and walk in them. <laughs> oh gosh, it's just so, so beautiful. It's honestly my, my actual dream dress. It really, really is. On the same day, we were also visited by David Morris, who had so kindly offered to dress me for my wedding. I mean, you can only see. Should I try it here? Because you never know, we might find that we think it needs to be dialed down a bit, and then maybe I could put something on with the mm. other dress. Because mm. this is the other dress here. With the full. Oh, you dialed on it already. So what, one's going to be in the day and one's going to be in the evening? Yeah, that's my dancing dress. Beautiful. <laughs> so I thought it would be perfect to kind of bring the jewellery to the boutique, try on my sample dresses again and work out what types of jewellery would look best. And I'm so glad I did this because in my mind I had chosen a few different types of earrings, necklace, rings, and actually I'd gone too over the top when I just needed to just pair it back and just bring it back to simplicity and just something very demure again. David Morris make the most stunning intricate diamond jewellery so I was just over the moon to be able to wear them for my wedding. And lastly on that day we had the amazing opportunity to go over to the atelier to talk about my veil design and to see the final layout of the veil. So it was almost my moment to check that I loved it, that I liked the placement of the bees and the flowers and to almost sign it off as my final veil design right before it goes to be fully embroidered by hand um, onto this beautiful piece of silk. Maybe we could put like a diamante on the back of one of them, and that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one is Alex. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> so they're, they're slightly unique from each other. So then it was time for my second silk fitting. And this is when the body of the dress is almost becoming your actual final dress. So everything is coming together so beautifully. Isn't it beautiful? Ah, oh, stunning. It's okay, no I'm joking. <laughs> a few weeks ago for the first silk fitting, that was when we kind of put the silk over the top of, it's almost like the carcass of the dress, isn't it? Almost like the corset and everything. And then now when we come in, everything's been sewed together. So it's the first time seeing it in this form. I'm just trying not to get emotion. Everything is again fitted refitted, remeasured, and I started to actually see the shape of the dress coming together. Um, it was really actually really emotional seeing what my actual final dress would look like on me. Oh my gosh, that shape. Oh, <laughs> looks like you need tissue. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. Oh, big. <laughs> Pull yourself together. <laughs> it really sort of hit me and I saw myself in the mirror for the first time in this gorgeous dress I'd always dreamed of and it, I don't know, it just really really hit me at that moment that this was my wedding dress, I was going to get married and this is exactly how I would look on my wedding day so it just made me really emotional. We also talked about the straps on the ceremony dress because 
The initial sample that I'd seen had slightly wider straps and whilst I loved them, we always, we kind of had this little joke about the fact we didn't want fettuccine straps, we wanted more like tagliatelle straps or linguine straps. I almost wanted something between a spaghetti strap and a linguine, something like that. And we also began adapting the length of my second dress and the tulle skirt. I decided that for my dancing, I didn't want to have to hold my skirt at any point. I wanted it to be ballerina length, just above my ankles. So we've got loads more tools, yeah. It's amazing! Oh, it's, it's spot on. unbelievable. So we've finished the neckline now, so you've got to see the top line. Top it's line. absolutely incredible, yeah. that line. I think after doing a few different red carpet events, I've realised that long dresses and red carpets are very, very difficult. <laughs> and that something that's off the floor is so much easier to deal with. I think when I come out in this, in the evening, it'll just be like, and we put pockets in it. I thought it would just make it so modern, a little bit more youthful to put these cute little pockets inside. Philippa said she'd never really done that before in a tulle skirt, so it was a bit more of a challenge for her, which she loved. And honestly, the way they've come out is beautiful. It has little silk pockets cut through layers and layers and layers of tulle, and it just really makes that dress so fun, if it wasn't already so fun already. <laughs> Um, we also got to go and see more of the beadwork that had been done because obviously after a few weeks more and more decided to come together. So we are nearly finished. Wow! So we get to the penultimate fitting day. So over the course of the engagement a few different magazines and publications have gotten in touch with us about covering different aspects of the wedding which is obviously so exciting. Um, I was also on the cover of Condé Nast Bride's magazine which was an amazing career moment and I wrote a big bridal special for my magazine online as well. So on this day we had a press interview, me and Philippa talking about the whole process and of course I will share much more information about that as soon as that comes out. So on this day I got to see my final veil. It had just come back fully hand embroidered, it was absolutely divine. Oh my goodness. Oh Kyle! Can I see? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, look at it. My bees. Never seen anything so beautiful. And I just got to see it all completely come together for that first time, which again was a really amazing moment with Philippa. It's absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love that one. Whoever's going to arrange you when you get to the Face. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that! Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, it's so beautiful! Oh, I love that. It just means I can keep it on for so much longer. And during the fitting, it was about making sure the fastenings were perfect, that I was supported, that I felt fully secure, and that the back of the dresses were entirely seamless. The beautiful thing about Philippa's dresses is the attention to detail and the precision when it comes to things like the fastenings and how seamless everything is and you can't tell where anything fastens or joins, it's just magical. And I got to see my finished embellished bodice for the first time to try on my actual pearly crystal bodice. Suits you to bits. The neck kind looks amazing with her back. It's so pretty. <laughs> And again, it was just so sparkly and I literally felt like a princess in that moment. The crystals are also scattered down the tool on the dress as well. So it's almost like a few have fallen from the bodice onto the skirt. So, because I had this idea that when I was dancing in the evening and all of the lights would catch on all of these crystals and everything would just sparkle. Yeah, that was, that was my dream. And that's exactly how Philippa designed it for me. And then we come to the very final fitting day. That final check that I'm happy with the fit, I feel secure and supported, um, and that everything just looks absolutely perfect. In fact, the team was so precise that they wanted to add a few more bits of embellishment onto the bodice, so it was absolutely perfect. And we just got to see the dresses completely finished 
for that very last time, which again was just an amazing moment. My favourite features. My pockets. these um, Louboutins full of these beautiful crystals again and in silver so it matches with the corset which I think a really nice choice I'm really really happy with these and Philippa surprised me she'd she had commissioned a piece of artwork of my dress. I've got a little something here for you from all of us here. I was going really? to do your Friday bit thing, it's not doing Friday. But it, oh, it might be good for you to open it. <laughs> you can bear it. What, what is it? It's quite bright. I didn't expect anything. You did done enough for me. No, no. It's just a little something I thought would be nice. Thank you. Oh my goodness, wow! Special gift is something I'm going to frame, I'm going to keep it in my closet forever. Um, just a really beautiful thought. I'm going to hang this in my closet. Oh, it's gorgeous, that is so special. I can keep this forever. Pleasure, no, thank you. So after this whole process, months of meticulous work and passion from me and the entire team at Philippa Lepley who are just amazing, um, I got to pick up my dresses and to kind of look back on the whole process, it's just been a real dream. It's, I never knew just how much detail went into the creation of a couture gown. It's so much, it's so much work, so much creativity so much skill from the people that create these pieces. They're there in London, working away in their studio, in their atelier, and I just had no idea just how much work actually went into it. So it really, really opened my eyes, and in a way I kind of hope that this can show you as well exactly what goes into creating such a beautiful dress. It's certainly shown me and Kyle a lot on this journey, that's for sure. Um, but that's, that's exactly why I adore Philippa. She is one of sort of the last people that are creating these amazing dresses in an atelier in the middle of London. You know, it's so special. She's been working on wedding dress creations for such a long time. And she's just the most wonderful lady. I just want to say a massive thank you again to Philippa for everything she's done for me for creating these dream wedding dresses for me. And I'll just remember it for the rest of my life. I think for every person who's getting married, their wedding dress is that one thing they want to be the most special, the thing they'll remember forever. And ever since being a little girl, these are the sort of dresses that I would only ever be able to dream about wearing. I'll be forever grateful to the whole team for everything that they've done. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing this whole couture dress journey with me. It's been an emotional few months. Me and Kyle have spent a lot of time together. It's been amazing. And I cannot wait to hear what you think of my dresses. Please do leave me any questions, any comments down below and I'll get back to as many of you if you've got um, any questions about the process. Let me know what you think of my dresses and thank you so much for watching.